stopped writing about food ever since. Um, so I lived in Lebanon for three years, the past three years. I moved from Dubai to Lebanon, was asked a million times, why would you move from Dubai to Lebanon? It's crap. And I'm like, no, it's not. It is. <laughs> Sadly. Uh, with every passing year, it has just gone. It has improved on many levels, but has also regressed on many levels. And I was teaching university, and I was thinking about my students, and I was thinking about my nephews and nieces, and half the world is immigrated. And I was thinking, you know, how did we get here to this point? How did we get to this point in Lebanon? And what would we say if the kids asked us? What will we tell them? And this is the poem that came out of that question. It's called, What We Will Tell. Great question. We'll tell them we tried. We told stories and wrote poems and were sometimes ignored. We filled the classrooms with manifestos and sex. We filled the classrooms with questions. We'll tell them we rode buses from the villages all the way to the city and back. We burned candles in church and then we burned down the church. We'll tell them we did not all want to believe in the holy stories that we were fed, that we had needles pushed into our uterus and breast, how even once was enough. We'll tell them <clears throat> we did not mean to keep the ones in power in power. We'll tell them about power outages, the leaving of water, the shifting sun, and all the wrong colors. We'll tell them there was, there was war here once and then again there was war. We'll tell them we ate too much and spent too much and considered the street beggar with a drug child on her chest invisible. We'll tell them how we became invisible, how we told on each other, how we stayed up some nights because we did not believe the moon would ever come back. We'll tell them we believed in the muscle of the moon and the ebb and flow of lies. We'll tell them we lied, stole from each other, never forgave forgiveness. We'll tell them how we hated food, processed it, threw it up, and sometimes we ate it. We'll tell them there was once a word and that word was home, but we did not know what it meant, so we left it behind to burn. We watched it on the news and remembered its light, its infinite forest where trees were and weren't. Or the scent of Yasmin reminded us of the hands of our mothers and the leaving of grass. We'll tell them about grass and how we were forced instead to learn the language of concrete and billboards and deserts and the absence of birds. We'll tell them about birds and the thick song of departure stuck in our throat. How these birds took us from one country to, the, to another. We'll tell them about countries and how we needed papers to visit. We'll try to explain permission. We will try to explain permission. And how sometimes we got it and sometimes we didn't. We will say we did not all deserve the passage. We'll tell them how we pulled off our limbs and folded our bones and drowned them in the red womb of water to get there. We'll explain water how it came down in threads from the thick blue attic and how it spread as a river. We will try to explain a river and we will fail. Thank you. Sorry about the sound, it was like weird. No? Okay.